Hello and welcome to India Business Hour. I'm Shireen Bhan. The headlines that we're tracking for you this evening. Israel steps up airstrikes on Gaza as it prepares for a ground assault. President Biden warns as well that any occupation of Gaza would be a big mistake. Thousands of fleeing Palestinians are waiting at the Egypt border, which is yet to open. Israel also evacuates its residents from within two kilometers of the Lebanon border. The Sensex and the Nifty end with marginal losses after a range bond session. The rupee ends at a record closing low against the dollar as tensions in the Middle East keep Brent crude prices above $90 a barrel. HDFC Bank reports a big spike for the second quarter. Profits at nearly 16,000 crore rupees ahead of estimates. Net interest income of over 27,000 crore rupees marginally misses estimates. This is the first earnings report after the big merger. The International Olympic Committee votes to include cricket in the 2028 Los Angeles Games. Four other games including flag football, lacrosse and squash added to the roster. After Chinese mobile phone makers, laptop manufacturers are set to face tax scrutiny. Both direct and indirect tax intelligence wings alleged several violations including undervaluing products. That's an exclusive. A tax setback for Airtel and Vodafone Idea. The Supreme Court rejects a petition by telecom companies to treat license fee as revenue expenditure, upholds the tax department's appeal to treat it as capital expenditure. Hero Motor likely to sell over 1.3 million motorcycles this festive season, registering a double-digit growth, says CEO Niranjan Gupta, adds that electric vehicle production will be ramped up from the fourth quarter of this fiscal. The government is in the final stages of fixing eligibility norms for direct listing of Indian companies on foreign exchanges. Sources say companies could need a minimum period of operations in India. The government is considering eight or nine specified jurisdictions for overseas listing. Big breakthrough for blood cancer treatment. The drug regulator approves India's first CAR T cell therapy, which is expected to be 90% cheaper at 30 to 40 lakhs. It's been developed by ImmunoAct, an IIT Bombay incubated company in which Loris Labs holds 34% stake. Well, as always, the trading action to start with the Sensex and the Nifty closing the day with marginal cuts after a range bound session. The Sensex lost over 100 points and the Nifty lost nearly 20 points today. Bank stocks clocking minor losses in trade today. So that's the story as far as the markets are concerned. 100 points lower for the Sensex flat for the Nifty. In the money market, the rupee ending at a record closing low against the dollar while oil prices remain elevated amidst the tensions in the Middle East, Brent crude prices are now above $90 a barrel. And in the currency market, the rupee closing for trade at 83.27 against the dollar. And in the bond market, the 10-year bond yield also hardened in trade as it remains close to 7.4%. That was all the action from the equity and the money markets, the big global story that we continue to track. The Israel-Hamas war now has entered the second week. Israeli Defense Forces stepping up airstrikes on Gaza as it prepares for a ground assault. U.S. President Biden has warned Israel that any occupation of Gaza would be a big mistake.